So these are the Beatitudes. These are really, um, well, Jesus spoke them so that you would know if you were saved. And they were also so that you found your way to him. Very interesting. Um, so blessed are the poor. Most people have heard these, but I don't think people stop and think about them. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, ask any, uh, any alcoholic about being poor in spirit. The condition of the alcoholic, the condition of any addiction is poor in spirit. That's the problem. That's the condition, no matter what the science says. <laughs> yeah, because um, the, the founders of Alcoholics Anonymous, as I've said before, one of them was a surgeon. There was no help for those people back in the 40s, so th late 30s, 40s. So they were just put in sanitarium. So it's a, a, a poor, but the condition is, this is why no pill will ever fix it, is because it is a, a, a spiritual malady, as they said in the Alcoholics Anonymous book. And that's what it is. That's the reason why it's, um, when filled with the Holy Spirit, then you realize, yeah, I had nothing to do with this, no matter what the science or this world likes to think that your brain cells changed. Yeah, yeah, okay, no. Uh, next, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure, pure of heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. You could also say, instead of children of God, sons of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. The King James Bible words it that way um sons of god who else was a son of god only one other person yes jesus himself he didn't refer to himself as the son of man he was the son of god yet jesus said to many people blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called sons of god that's how important i think um jesus wanted us to follow like not just what he said but his example and he didn't spread any bloodshed, just something to consider. Because we have a lot of people that get kind of high and mighty with their um, the faith thing, especially if they're in a leadership position in Washington. And they think they're standing on some holy ground of something. And I, I've said before, they're misguided. They are. We have many in the media that are misguided. We've had many um, leaders of churches and people that yeah they've studied the bible but they don't understand it because they came from a foundation where they were taught it they went to a school to learn much of it then they go on to study it but they already have this foundation of it and it's it's much of it is wrong um i'm not saying god wants you to just stand there and be killed but there's a difference between going on a crusade throughout the middle east and, and it, again, I stand with innocent people, period. Um, and I'm saying this because there's so much um, hypocrisy that's going on around this. But I'll get to that in a moment. Um, let me go on because there's more here. Uh, Blessed are they who pers are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So um, people don't understand this one, okay? This doesn't mean you're on the street corner and you're 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 free, you're doing some sermon about God and you're interrupting you know some Hamas rally and and you're arrested, okay? That's wrong. Yeah, that is being persecuted or you're arrested because you open your church during COVID like what happened in Canada. Um yeah, or being persecuted, you you know what they're doing to Trump, persecution. Um I mean just making shit up. It doesn't mean it has to necessarily, on the face of it, appear as though, no, that person's being persecuted because of Jesus. No, just standing up and doing the right thing, this world will knock you down. I've had it happen enough times. It's very, it's very disheartening. And then, and then you realize that, no, that's, this, this, is what, this is what, I'm going to go on to read more, that, just a little bit more that's after this that didn't fit on here. But... Um, it's what to expect. It doesn't mean just because you're speaking about Jesus, that's the only time you're persecuted. No. If you're standing up for honesty, if you're speaking truth, and, you know, if you're, 
Because if you're speaking truth and you're standing up for honesty and you're doing the right thing, then that's really walking with Jesus. Yeah. So that's going to be persecuted. So you may not even realize that many, if, I mean, some people I'm sure have experienced this. Trump is a great example right now of this. I mean, what are they going after him for? Because they don't like the things he said. They don't like that he was truthful. They don't like that he was trying to do something about trafficking, ending all these foreign wars. There was no war. What do what? What? Because they don't like the way he talks. Yeah, that's that's being filled with something other than the Holy Spirit. So, um, but it's as simple as doing the right thing, and that, and that you're, and then you go, wait a minute, I stood up for what was right in the workplace, and then I get written up, or I get fired, or this happened, and it's like, yeah, that's what happens in this world. Jesus warned of it, so it doesn't. You don't even have to be speaking about Jesus. It's just this world, that's why I've said it before, it doesn't like honesty, it doesn't like people to do the right thing. It'll tell you that you should do the right thing. But really, that, that, that wicked spirit that has um, gotten into everything in this world um, just says that, doesn't really want you to do it, no. Would rather keep, I mean, I've, see, I've seen this in the workplace, I've seen this. I've seen employees, beca at more than one place, employees kept, and I'm not saying they're nurses. I'm just saying it, it, it's a different, any level, really, that are physically abusive to a patient that have, that have been, been uh, um, the, in an entire department, an entire department that has complained for like a year, and, and, and people saw physical abuse, by, and they're kept. And there, there's even more than that. That's just, it tells you everything you need to know. Because that's what this world does, and you will see it more times than not. And right now, it's really easy to see because they're doing it to Trump, all this nonsense with all the... I mean, if, again, if you, if you watch um, MSNBC, then you, you will just stay stupid, and that's your own fault. But the rest of this goes on to say, Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. So even though you may not even be speaking about Jesus or the Bible, the very fact that you stand up and do the right thing, the very fact that you speak truth and speak honesty, you'll be persecuted for it. And so you should take comfort in it because it's what happened to Jesus and it's what you should expect. That's why they hated Jesus. He spoke truth. Rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Yep. So that's what will happen in this world. So even though this world loves to put people up on a pedestal and they're so great and they're so wonderful and they talk so good. Yeah, well, Jesus was, um, you know, that those are usually the people that aren't doing good. Not always, but many times. Especially if this world is giving them awards and also, you know. Yeah, this world is not about you doing the right thing. It, it'll make stuff up and say, oh, this person did that. Yeah, but the true people that do the right thing, this world wants nothing to do with it. And there's nothing you can do about that. That's the way that it is. That's the way it is until um, God starts clearing the place out. Yeah. Or until more people start realizing, no, I would rather... Uh, earn the kingdom of heaven by doing the right thing than continually looking the other way and not doing the right thing. Yeah. When you're truly, when you truly walk with God and you're really conscious, conscious of that, then it, it's, I've said it before, it's very hard to, to do the wrong thing. Not to say that you can't, but it's, it certainly isn't as easy to just look away or not, or, or, I mean, you, you, there, there does have to be that balancing act of picking your battles. But Jesus said the sons of God, the, so that he was, a, he was the only son of God, but yet he went on to tell everyone that you are a son of God if you're a peacemaker. Nowhere in any of this does it say, go spread bloodshed in my name. But this world, that's how much... Um, they've treat, you know, uh, explained the Bible to a bunch of Christians in this country that never learned about God through just the relationship with God, but instead learned it from other people. And it's that passing down of false teaching that has led everyone astray. And as God said, all will be deceived. <laughs>